there's historically just a, uh, a feeling of fellowship, of uh, almost family when you're sitting around a table eating a meal. And bread is fundamental. My name's John Arbon. I own Cast Iron Bakery. One of the things that I remember growing up is my mother baking bread. It was one of the best days of the week because that bread would come out nice and steamy and hot. We would cut into it. The steam would just explode out of it. Whether you ate it plain or put butter and honey on it, it didn't matter. It was just delicious. Look at sourdough ingredients. You'll see three basic ingredients, salt, water, and flour. I let my loaves ferment for anywhere between eight to 12 hours. Time is what creates a real sourdough and the quality of nutrition that you want out of a sourdough. And there's no shortcutting that. That's where that rising process starts to happen. When you put it in the oven, it's exposed to that heat, expands even more. And so it's what's called oven spring. The oven spring goes and your loaf just pops out like that. And it just, it's, it's a beautiful process. <laughs> There's a lot of sourdough starts out there that have this long legacy, storied histories, you know, you probably follow the genealogy of the microbes within it. And what's interesting about a start is it will acquire the local flavor. The, the stuff in the air, the yeast and things like that are gonna be different in my area than they will be in San Francisco, back in New York. There's a subtle flavor difference between all these sourdoughs. The legacy of the cast iron sourdough built here in Springville, Utah, with the local flavors, local store, has been a year-long process up to this point, and it will continue on. My body says thank you, my taste buds are rejoicing, my salivary glands are working overtime. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I bake bread. It's a pleasure for me to see the pleasure in your face and know that you're getting a nutritionally sound product as well. I love doing this. This came out just this morning. This is one's coming home with me. I don't get tired of it. It's just got some wonderful flavors to it. Whether it's this or the Kalamata olive and Parmesan, which by the way, makes a great open face sandwich with tomato. <sighs> some balsamic vinegar. Mm.